Tonight is Gideon Minor. Tonight, the fate of impeached Meru Governor Kawera Mwangaza rests with an 11-member committee of the Senate that will probe her and report back after 10 days. This was after the Senate's leadership recommended the formation of the special committee to investigate charges leveled against the besieged governor that saw her impeached by the Meru County Assembly. Kawera and the Meru County Assembly will now appear before the committee to argue their case, as Daniel Karioki reports. Clark. In the next 10 days, an 11-member committee will decide on the fate of impeached Governor Kawira Mwangaza by either ratifying Meru County Assembly impeachment motion or rejecting it depending on their finding. Senate approving that Kawira appears before the committee and not the whole House. Pursuant to Section 33 3B of the County Governments Act and Standing Order 81B, the Senate resolved to establish a special committee. Among the senators to sit in the panel are Majority Whip Boni Halwale, was in Gishu Senator Jackson Mandago, Kiambu Senator Karungo Thangwa, and Ali Roba of Mandera County. Other members are nominated Senator Esther Okoyuri, nominated Senator Peris Tobiko, Migori's Eddie Okech, Joseph Kamau of Lamu, Edwin Sifuna of Nairobi, Agnes Kavindu of Machakos County, and Tavetas Mwaruma. The reason the Senate exists is to provide or to rather to secure the interests of counties, their governments, and its people. The committee will look into five accusations made against Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza by the County Assembly. They include nepotism or illegal appointments and statutory functions of county organs. She is also accused of making forceful entry into the assembly precincts and mobilizing unlawful riots against MCAs. This is one such time, Mr. Speaker, that you are being recalled as a house because there is a matter that has been brought before us by the people of Meru through their elected representatives, that's uh, members of a county assembly. I want to beseech my colleagues here, that let us not trivialize this matter. Let us not bring the issue of two-third gender rule to determine how we are going to defend devolution. All impeachment proceedings that have gone to committee have become negative. They have become like laundry processes where governors who accusations are faced have come back. And many people are not correcting this, Mr. Speaker. There was a back and forth over the constitution of the committee with a section of senators claiming gender was not considered when forming the committee. Nobody has actually, and I hate to be in this position because I support my party, but I'm also a woman and I'm pushing for the two-third gender rule. I have many children. The majority of them are girls. Order. I know matters Members. of gender. Mr. Speaker, Members. I have got more than one wife. I know matters of yeah. gender. She can't Can school me. Order. Excuse me, order. my daughter. Senator Boni, to us, you're an honorable senator. We don't see you as a bullfighter. What is before us is for us to determine, Mr. Speaker, whether we shall uphold the will of the people of Meru as opposed to the will of 68 members of County Assembly of Meru. The committee is set to start the proceedings this week. Kawira expected to appear before the committee to answer to the claims with another day set for MCAs to argue their case. The committee has 10 days to deliver its report that will be tabled before the House ahead of the voting on the committee recommendations. Will the committee save Kawera or uphold Meru County Assembly resolutions? Daniel Karioki.